once again, I'm just an anime. Yeah, I'm going to go out. Like remote. <laughs> I'm kidding. These are another set of my paintings. Both of the red and blue color combination I was really going through during this time. And um, back in 2010. The, I, spring 2010. And when I took my most progressive step in art from pop to more of serious modern techniques. Self-taught and developed um, by myself, in my own mind. And these paint, this is the painting called Our Hearts in Manic Hell. And this one is called Our Manic Hearts in Hell. Our Hearts in Manic Hell, Our Manic Hearts in Hell. Two separate concepts. In this one, you see the very be beautiful blue kind of acid wash kind of look at thing. And the expression of this was to basically capture this innocence and this beauty and and I marbleized the um, hearts to make them look very cool. And psych those are elements of psychedelic, the psychedelic style. But I didn't want to overuse it because I feel that it's cliche and overdone. So what I did was I put them on hearts with the color that they would be. I just didn't add a bunch of random colors. I basically just red and the black and the white glow. And the stars represent this infinity that it, this process is forever. And it, it's it's kind of an ironic title because it's supposed to be it's a happy painting, and both of them are. And in this painting, you see the their hearts are blue, and it's kind of this represent it's kind of this opposite of what happens when you don't get oxygen. And it's kind of um not like a this isn't what hell looks like. It's it's kind of like this oppression, but while it's oppressed, it's still beautiful. I mean, if you were walking by these, you wouldn't know that. I mean, you'd think, oh, that's a, that's a painting. Oh, cool. But realistically, it's it's actual deep meaning. I'd rather it not be cool, or somebody not think it's cool and actually understand it. But that don't, most of the time with Glowing the Dark Art, it's kind of overlooked and it's seen as novel, and that's why it hasn't been really mainstreamed in the art world and taken seriously, um, in my opinion. But in this, I did the same thing with the blue one, with the blue and the black and the white, and the kind of um, the same kind of stars and infinite, and how it's just very. It was more about the development and everything of the concept and the technique and how I was going to relay it onto the canvas. These two were in the art show, the first art show I did, and they one of them was going to be bought, and then somebody saw the title and decided to not to buy it. <laughs> so. Um, there's other heart, there's other paintings with these, it, it looks like this, it's called Red Hearts, and Red Hearts too. I kind of changed the title a little bit, because I, I was going more for, um, I, I guess I was kind of trying to go more for the happy title kind of thing, and get away from the serious title, but I think I like these because they're more ironic. Not that ironic is anything good, ironic is not serious in modern art. But I just have this weird affinity with it, but sometimes, but not with serious paintings, even though these are serious. But, <laughs> but um, this is what they look like under a black light. They're covered with gloss, like all paintings I do. This is what they look like under a black light, and this is what they look like in daylight. As you can see, it's a very dark blue, and the white of the canvas is exposed in this acid wash. And it's kind of like that with this, and there's a gray undertone to it, which was black, but it just didn't adhere to the canvas very well. And you can see it has more of a, a dark, it's ironic because it's a neon painting, and the hearts are, everything's bright except for the hearts are very dark looking. It's really weird, and the blue is very dark looking. It don't look like a neon glow dark painting at all from a distance. It just looks like a normal painting pigment looks like a normal acrylic paint. But I guess I kind of I guess that's kind of the trickery. Ha ha. Ha ha. And um I hope you enjoy it. Keep an eye out. Developing concepts. Peace.